Artificial intelligence, or AI, a field that has existed for more than 50 years, grows along with the development of cognitive science and neuroscience. Fen Guoping, investigator of MIT's McGovern Institute for Brain Research and a professor of MIT's Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences, believes that with proper human control, AI technology could help make great contribution to mankind, as in the case of DNA. DNA, the development of DNA once evoked great concerns to the world, but after 50 years of its development, it has contributed a lot to human beings. The treatments of tumor as well as other diseases all resulted from the development of DNA technology. Humans have a very good cognitive function. We can make judgments of good or bad, so we need to exert a reasonable level of supervision. As a neuroscientist, Feng is particularly interested in finding out how AI could help improve the precision of neurological disorder diagnosis by making use of large amounts of data from around the world. The computer can make the right decision even for the hardest move, meaning its integration ability has reached to a whole new level. Maybe not cognitive function yet, but very good integration ability. The next stage will be whether it can acquire cognitive function based on integration ability. Human brains are extremely complicated. Now computers can do part of the job, but not all of it. We still have a long way to go. Professor of the Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences at MIT, Josh Tenenbaum, said some jobs have to adapt to the development of technology, including AI. The likely medium-term risks of AI involve machines stealing human jobs. You know, as far as costs, well, you know, I think anything that transforms the economy. Some people who had certain kinds of jobs may not have those jobs anymore, or they may have to adapt. Factories are changing in lots of ways. But experts believe it will not simply mean machines replacing human, merely a transition of labor force. For example, things like managing airways and high-speed rail traffic, AI can do a better analyzing job than humans. These jobs will be replaced by AI, but they need to be designed by humans in the first place in order for this to happen. So AI is not replacing humans; it's only a transition for human beings. As the study of AI began to take shape in the 1960s and the 1970s, the fear that computers could pose a threat to humanity or eventually take over the world became one of the themes in science fiction. We should be concerned, the same way we're concerned about encryption technology or biotechnology or other kinds of computing power.、Um, that you know, think about how can we use, how can we make sure these technologies are used in good ways. And not bad ways, or safe ways, and not harmful ways. But it's not something that's fundamentally different,、uh, because somehow the technology itself is super intelligent. Experts told CNC that an evil super intelligent machine is highly unlikely to suddenly take over in the near or medium term. But I think if if you're asking about, I don't know if if you're asking about like fears of super intelligent machines taking over、yeah. the world. <laughs>、um, I don't think that's. Something that we need to worry about in any—that's—that's、uh, that's low down on my list of worries. <laughs> I think we have other worries that are much higher, like, for example, climate change. We should be much more worried.